Hey everyone. Um, so look, I wasn't going to do another reading today. I did one for Aries. I uploaded it, saw it uploaded. Um, and, um, I had checked it and was kept saying, uh, uh, I had checked it twice, um, and said zero views. And then I went back the next, the uh, time after, and there was, uh, it's like not showing up so I don't know what happened to it I'm like not I have no idea uh, what happened to it but um, anyways I wasn't going to do another reading today because I'm just tired it's after 11 um, and I've uh, been busy today but um, uh, I kept feeling like this pull that I needed to do a reading but I was like, I'm, I'm just tired, um, you know, and I just didn't want to like, um, get on just to give them, you know, uh, a half-ass message, but, um, spirit was like, no, um, uh, I, I was feeling this pull, like, uh, I kept getting signs that, um, there was someone that, um, was just struggling or like, um, just, you, just like needing to be uplifted, just needing some clarity or just needing to be soothed or just needing like validation or a sign from spirit that you're loved and that you ca you're you cared for. So if you get this tonight or tomorrow or a year from now, or whenever this finds you, um, just take this as a sign that someone does love you, someone does care and um, I care. Because I very well easily could have laid down because, like, my body is drained. Because doing readings, like, really drains you. Um, and so I've been doing readings, of uh, course, all day and um, just drained. But I had this pull um, that I just needed to come give this message. So whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever it is that you're going through, um... I just feel like I need to tell you that it's going to be okay. And I do want to pull some messages for you. I'm going to um, light some Palo Santo. It's almost like I can, I'm I'm so sorry for, uh, okay, I'm sorry. I told you guys I wasn't going to apologize for getting emotional anymore. But I guess I've just been doing it so long. Because as an empath, you constantly are apologizing <laughs> So, um, but, uh, I don't mean to get so emotional, but I, I can't help it. Um, anyways, um, we're going to go ahead, um, uh, get in this Palo Santo lit. I just want to clear out the energy from the day, give you guys a little bit clear myself out here um we're gonna pull uh some cards here from a deck that i used about a week ago um and then i want to pull a couple of cards from archangel michael you okay my little doggy So we're going to use the singing bowl and clear out the energy for myself and yourself um, in case like you're really needing it as well. Give you a chance to like really ground yourself, whatever this is that you're going through, whatever kind of struggle, you know, um, even if you feel like, oh, well, my struggles aren't that that um that big of a deal or it's not as bad as some people's it's still a struggle it's struggles that you're going through and um so whatever it is that you're going through we'll just take a moment to kind of ground and clear that out for you so i want you to if you wish if um you know you feel comfortable if this is something you agree to take a moment and visualize a healing light surrounding you full of unconditional love and just breathe that um, light, that healing energy um, within you. Um, 
just imagine that healing light full of unconditional love going into your lungs and then as you blow out as you exhale you're going to be blowing out stale stagnant energy and you're going to envision that this energy looks like black sludge and you're going to envision that you're sending that black sludge out into the cosmos where it can no longer harm anyone and then just re-breathe in that healing light and i'm going to be uh, um, sending you positive loving energy during this prayer as well so if you choose to accept it's completely up to you Spirit is showing me, um, I don't know why I'm seeing a mailman right now. Um, I don't know what that means to you, but that's what I'm seeing right now. I'm also seeing someone like in a field that looks like um, a hilltop with tall grass. I'm also seeing the, the ocean now. I'm seeing waves. Um... I keep seeing a mailman. This mailman keeps showing himself to me. I'm seeing people laughing. I'm seeing a boat. I'm seeing an older gentleman, gray hair but balding on top as well. Thank you, divine source energy, divine loving Holy Spirit. I got all the, okay, it's too much now. I'm getting all these um, visions of people flooding my mind. Thank you, angels, spirits, spirit guides. Thank you, archangels, archangel Michael, Uriel, Ariel, Gabriel, Hanael, Sandalphon. Thank you, Ascendant Masters. Thank you, higher light beings. For the good of all and to the harm of none, I call to you now. There's someone touching the back of my hand. I call to you now and invite you here to guide, bless, and protect this space. I thank you for using the cards that I use here today as tools to communicate, to bring only messages of love and peace from the divine. I'm not allowing any energy that is not of the highest good. We ask that you bring peace and love into this reading. I ask that you allow everyone involved in this reading to feel safe and loved. I thank you for honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and or messages from the divine that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none. And I thank you for the accuracy on my part as well. With peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Namaste. The spirit was like um, taking fingers like this. That's what it felt going up the back of my head. So there may have been somebody that played with your hair, that liked to play with your hair, that might have crossed over. Maybe you like to play with someone's hair. Okay, so they're saying she's my doll. I don't know what that means, but I had to say it. She's my doll.
somebody, um, so you may be feeling like a sense of betrayal about some, from someone around you, or there's like, um, or maybe someone around you is feeling a sense of, um, a, a betrayal. Okay. And it doesn't have to be like, you know, um, someone did you wrong, although it can, I mean, it can be, um, but I mean, I'm trying to not like focus on this, um, you know, just like, oh, doom and gloom stuff, but there, there are those doom and gloom things that do happen to us. So, I mean, it's not like we can just put our heads in the sand and ignore them. Cause I have seen, um, readers like, um, mock other readers or put other readers down for focusing on this or that or whatever, which I don't think any of us should do. I think, um, people should just, you know, focus on their own readings and not put other readers down. So I'm not trying to like, um, uh, focus on doom and gloom the way that a lot of readers say, I I've heard readers say that readers um, or attack other readers for making their readings all doom and gloom. So I'm not trying to make my reading all doom and gloom, but I am saying that there are those, you know, we have to focus on all areas of life because this world is so big and there's so many people going through so many different things. And so I need to focus on like what's going on in your life so that we can find clarity to get past those things. But I do feel like um, there's this sense of, of forming strong boundaries in your life right now. Like um, like maybe um, uh, establishing um, uh, personal space like um, so that you can protect your energy from someone uh, around you um, or others around you. Like um, and, and it's like if someone... Um, that betrayal could also come from someone that, that may not be respecting your boundaries or respecting your safe space. Okay. Or like crossing the line with you. Um, and you may need to protect yourself by creating boundaries. And, and this, this could be like energetically or, or even physically, but also being able to say no, like, and, uh, not allowing someone to like cross boundaries with you. What message spirit does the person watching now currently need to know or hear spirit? What messages do you have? Okay, so yeah, they do want you to pay attention to your dream, right? So your dreams. So you may be faced with some sort of important decision. Um, either now you're you could be like going back and forth in your mind. Should I or shouldn't I? Should I leave? Should I stay? Um, should I do this? Should I do that? Um, you know, uh, um, and so if you are like trying to um, make a decision, um then uh, spirit is saying um, to really pay attention to your dreams um, because that is going to help, okay? You are receiving communication about a decision or about the path ahead, whether you remember your dreams or not. Okay, thank you, angels, spirits, spirits. I'm also hearing that song under pressure or is it underwater? I don't know, but it sounds like under pressure in my mind. So somebody could be dealing with um, a, a, a sense of pressure. Yeah. Feeling like it, it could, it could be like um, um, something here where you're, you're maybe feeling ungrounded or unbalanced in some area of your life where you could be like really, bu really busy, you know, and, um, or like there's a lot going on or like, the, you know, there's something that is out of balance in your life. And it's like, um, this is, um, earthly, um, you know, earthly matters that, it, you're like focusing all your mind on like either like paying the bills or the house or like it's like earthly 3d stuff 
you may need to like even like establish like a routine or something um like maybe you're working and like your your housework is falling behind you're like doing a lot and so it does feel like maybe you might need to get more organized thank you angels spirits guides what message does the viewer watching need to see at this time? This, ah, oh, it's the dreams card. Okay, so yeah, they are. I'm going to clarify that uh, with the tarot. What else, spirit? Does the viewer that is currently watching this video need to know at this time? Also, I'm seeing somebody having nightmares as well dealing with nightmares or maybe you feel like you're going through a nightmare situation with something in your life okay so this meditation is going to help ground you as well with whatever it is that look and then i've got grounded on the bottom of the deck um uh, I'm also seeing anger issues, so I don't know if you're the one that is dealing with these anger issues um, or if you're um, uh, dealing with someone who has their own set of anger issues. But Spirit is saying for you to practice meditation, um, that meditation is also going to help you um, um, with the answers that you're that you're looking for that you're seeking to help you find clarity here um, it's going to balance you as well um, you know maybe you have stopped meditating or haven't ever meditated or like back slacking in some way with regards to meditation and so meditation is really going to help you focus your mind okay and um it's going to help you focus your mind consciously with with peaceful thought or positive intention i want to look at the book over here real quick okay so the the little book that comes with this it's only got like a like a sentence in here under the card but um i feel like um some of you watching are going through a spiritual awakening and it's like your your body needs to um catch up with your high vibration and so your body could be feeling really drained or or lethargic because one of the the um things in this book is saying you are raising your vibration and your consciousness. So where I was seeing something out of balance, it could be the physical, because I was talking about physical earthly matters. So it could be that your consciousness, your, your, is like your energetic vibration is raising. And so that's um, maybe taking a toll like on your physical body. So maybe you're more tired um, lately, like physically tired, or you could have like some aches and pains or something and it's like your body it just needs time to adjust to the higher frequency um that you are in the that your consciousness is in okay um also like if you're looking for answers if you're if you're seeking clarity right now if you're trying to um to make a, a decision um spirit is saying to um to ask the universe your question and then spend time in meditation and pay attention to your dreams that you're going to receive whatever it is um, that you're looking for okay your um, spirit is telling you to not chase anything don't chase earthly matters don't chase after answers okay because whatever you chase for whatever you chase after means that it's running from you right if you chase something it means it's running from you so it's going to elude you it's going to evade you um so you don't want to chase after anything right um because it's just going to continue to run from you so you're going to stay still um and wait and whatever it is that you that you want 
is going to find its way to you. It's going to turn around, whether it's a person, whether it's money, whether it's energy, whatever it is, uh, um, knowledge, wisdom, clarity, whatever it is, it's what do you do when, when someone's chasing you and they stop chasing you? You turn around to see where they went. Well, it's the same thing with other people, with money, with, it, with energy, with everything. It's gonna turn around and, and see where you went and go looking for you and come to you, okay? Um, so right now spirit is just saying for you to just be in this place of, um, of peace, of inner calm, to just breathe, to just focus on your breath with this meditation card here, to just breathe in and out deeply, allow the answers to come to you, allow the person to come to you, allow the, um, the clarity, the wisdom, the knowledge, whatever it is that you're seeking, allow it to come to you because it's going to, and, uh, answers, they're going to come to you in your dreams. They're going to come to you in this time of meditation. The more you relax your mind, mind the easier it is going to be for you to hear whatever answers it is that you're looking for um or whatever help it, it is that you need in making this um uh, decision remember here with this grounded card that it's important to let go of anything um to let go of everything You can't hold on to anything, to let go of everything. Because if it's meant for you, it's not going to leave you. So there's no point in keeping your hands full to let go of everything. It'll stay if it's yours, if it's truly yours. The wisdom, the knowledge, the answers, the, the um, relationship, the home, whatever it is, the job. You know, um, and then, you know, releasing anger, not holding on to anger. You know, anger is not, it's not um, uh, bad to become angry. It's natural. It's a human emotion. But it, 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 it what comes a problem is if you hold on to that anger and you don't release it and, and, and don't embrace it, like, like embrace your anger, embrace that anger for a moment, experience it, process it and release it. Spirit, can I get one more card here from this deck for the viewer watching? One more card, please, Spirit. Is this for fun? Okay, so you may be on defense right now. You may feel like, um, uh, for some of you, feeling like the, feeling like the black sheep, feeling unloved, feeling used and abused, that you've been mistreated and made out to be the underdog. Some of you may have even gone into defense mode as a way of preventing yourself from being hurt again. And Spirit is saying that you know, you're coming to a completion in your life right now with this completion card on the bottom of the deck. And you you can't move forward when you're playing defense. You can't move forward when you're playing defense. And in order for you to go into the next phase of your life, to um, because you're on this journey, Life is the, a journey and you don't want to stay in defense um, and miss out on the journey. And there is a whole nother level to this journey that you're headed towards and you can't get there if you're playing defense because you've been attacked. You've had people blame you, point the finger at you, um, argue with you, put you down and made you feel um, 
as though you've had to defend yourself against them. And now it's time to um, release the the defense. You know, things, there's, yeah, there's, it, you are awakening. You, I feel like there's, uh, you are going through this awakening. Things are changing within you. And it's like, and at many levels, you may be going through a spiritual awakening. You are not the victim anymore. Maybe you have played defense and had and have built walls up around you um, to um, protect yourself that then became your prison. I I seen that in a reading not too long ago, um, and I'm seeing it now. So um, I, I was going to get into the tarot and start pulling cards with tarot, but this is just supposed to be a quick message for you guys. So um, to, to just let you know that you're loved and you're cared for and whoever you are, if you somehow see this message, um, Spirit just wants you to know that, um, yeah, look, your prayers are being answered. You may be in meditation um, need to pray, um, going into meditation to, to pray and know that as you pray, your prayers are being answered. Whatever it is that you're praying for right now, um, prayer is where you talk to God, right? Meditation is where you listen. Okay. So pray and talk to the universe, talk to God, talk to, um, uh, your, um, angels, your spirit guides, and then go into this dream, into your dream world, go into your meditation and allow the answers to come. Some of you are actually going to be stepping into some sort of spotlight, like people are going to, those people that pointed the finger at you that um, try to make you out to be the bad one or something of that nature, like they're going to see that they were all wrong for doing you that way. They're going to be proven wrong. They're going to see um, you in the spotlight um, shining. Now, it's not like I'm saying that you're all going to be like, you know, superstars, like um, celebrities or anything like that. But you, there is going to be light shown um, that um, it's almost like you're vindicated in some way in front of people. Spirit, what? Um, Archangel Michael, angels, please come here. Guide this reading. Show me clearly what message you have for those souls that see this reading. Show me clearly what I need to see. Okay. Stay the course. Look, angels of healing are with you. So this is a time of healing, both emotionally, physically, mentally, um, this is about you finding balance in your life as well. Also, this card right here, um, 29 reduces to 11. That's um, a master number. 11, 11 is divine timing. So if you're, um, you know, struggling right now, Spirit's telling you, Archangel Michael, your angels are telling you, don't panic. You're not on the wrong path. You're just having a bumpy start. Learn from your experiences and keep going. Keep pushing forward. You know, you are coming to a completion here in your life. So if things are starting to, if you're going through a rough patch right now, it doesn't mean that your um, problems are insurmountable. Okay, it just, also I look at the time and it's 11.33 on the timer. Not on the timer, but on the clock. Sorry. Um, the clock is saying... Uh, 
So, um, okay, hold on just a moment. Okay. <clears throat> So it's almost like I, I, I keep on hearing the Wounded Warrior, which is um, the Nine of Wands in the tarot deck is also called the Wounded Warrior. So it's like, um, that's what I feel like with this card, with this um, Stay the Course. It's about um, preservation, you know, uh, I mean, um, yeah, preservation, um, you know, there's this ongoing battle, or maybe you're feeling like battle weary, um, and you're just having to gather all, um, the strength you have, you know, maybe you have like what you've been going through recently, or like, um, in some area of your life has just left you feeling drained, feeling like maybe you can't, um, go on. But Archangel Michael and your angels are surrounding you right now to tell you that you just need to gather the last of your strength right now and push forward. Don't give up. Keep marching forward. Okay, that you're so close to getting what you want. You're so close to finding success. You're so close to finding achievement. No matter what this is, whether or not this is with your health, with your finances, with your marriage, with your um, um, romantic relationship, you know, with your relationship with your child, with, you know, what, whatever this is, your, your career, whatever this is for you, like this is about, yes, you're battle weary and you're fatigued and you're drained and you just don't know how much more you can take. Um, but, but the angels, Archangel Michael is, is telling you just hold out, be, be, um, persistent. You may be wounded. You may be guarded. You may be on defense right now, expecting trouble. Okay. Um, things have definitely not gone how you had planned. You've been facing challenges and setbacks, but you're so close to, um, achieving a completion. It says here, learn from your experiences and keep going. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. You're so brave and you're so strong. Gaining wisdom from this experience. I do want to just pull one tarot card here for this day, the course, and then I'm going to let you guys go. And then I just happened to look at the timer when it said 3311. Um, 33 minutes and 11 seconds was when I looked up at the timer. You guys um, uh, may want to go look up that number and see what that angel number means when you get a chance. And, and you'll probably receive another message from Spirit when you look that number up. Thank you, angels, spirits, spirit guides, higher light beings. Please come here. Guide this reading. Show me clearly what I need to see. Why is this stay the course card here? Why is this stay the course card here for the collector the four of swords yeah that you definitely been through a lot of challenges and it's funny too because the sword, four of swords is a card of meditation okay it is a card of like taking a break resting rest but don't give up okay you know um you can take a break um but don't give up and he's like, you see how he's pointing upwards? Pointing, like he's smiling, like meditation is the answer. 
meditation is the key and then we have the four of swords you see how this person here looks like they're meditating or praying in church they're like look you're going through a rough time right now but don't give up stay the course go um spend time in meditation um you uh, you're going through a very difficult time or maybe you're you're just feeling burnt out or worn worn out you um you've learned a lot of karmic lessons and you've gone through these things to learn these karmic lessons okay so that you will be able to move forward um I do feel like you need to work on your energy levels first, though, before you keep moving forward. So meditation and Reiki um, energy will really help you at this time. Okay, it's going to help you restore your energy. Okay, because this is what he's saying. Restore the, um, stay the course and pointing up here to meditation. So it's like, so if you're feeling drained, if you're feeling tired from all from everything that you're going through, look, meditation is going to really help you um, with your energy levels right now. Or Reiki is going to help you restore your energy right now. And then we pull out the Four of Swords. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's restoring his energy so that he can stay the course. And not give up to heal, to heal his body, to heal his mind, to heal his soul, to heal that um, um, heart, to heal your heart. Okay, so I could keep going and keep going, but I hope that this helped you in some way tonight or whenever it finds you. And um, again, like I... I want you to know that you are so very loved. Archangel Michael loved you enough to have me give you this message as tired as I was. To, um, to show you how truly loved you are by the all there is. And the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste. I love you.